Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Miss Tippy Girl Life. I am Tamika, just a country Miss Tippy Girl living in North Carolina. So y'all, I told y'all that I was going to be bringing y'all along for some of my healthy recipes. Things I just pretty much come up with. Some stuff I may um, research and redo um, myself. So I have been talking about this for, what, a couple years. Just not getting around to doing. Especially with me no longer having a gallbladder. If y'all haven't checked out the video, um, what happened to me, I'm going to put it at the end of this video if y'all new to the channel. But May 18th, I had emergency gallbladder surgery. I have since then tried things that I normally could not eat. Not because of gallbladder, but because of my GERD or whatever. Like a little bit of fatty things because they tell you you need to try to um, see if you'll be one of them that can take fat after the gallbladder and guess what i still i can't take it it's even worse now even having chick-fil-a fries um went straight through me so maybe tmi but that's just what happens when you have um gallbladder rem removal for some people so i have to be low fat i always had to be low fat because of the GERD and my kids have GERD so Low fat is nothing new for me, but like literally I got to be low fat. I cannot eat things out because I don't know what type of oil they putting in it and all this type of stuff. So with that being said, I am about to make me and the kids some breakfast. Um, and it's my take on a yogurt bowl. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm using and how I make it. So I hope y'all enjoy. Alright y'all, so I am using some um activia yogurt okay so activia yogurt has good um active probiotics that's good for the gut so it's good it's good for us because of the GERD and you know it's a low fat um yogurt so it works for me with the gallbladder situation so we have the mixed berry is the one we're going to have today so i am going to go ahead on and put the yogurt into the bowls now i made one of these on one of the videos on one of the vlogs but i'm gonna do this one a little different so i am going to put the yogurt and bring y'all down some so you can see exactly what i'm doing so i'm putting the yogurt in the bowl get all that goodness up out of there all the goodness up out of there um I'm going to do this for all the bowls. Y'all, this is going to be so good. So good. All the goodness of the yogurt. And like I said, this is the mixed berry. I will be doing different things. Um, because I have different flavored yogurts up there. But we're going to do this. And y'all, they be having, like, the wild cherry one is really good. It be having chunks of um, cherry pieces in there. So, it is really, really good. So, I could have speeded this part up. But y'all be saying y'all like to see the whole process and not so fast. Because y'all may do this um, while I'm doing it. You know, so I understand that. That right there. Throw these in the trash. Like that. I like to keep my area clean. I drop the yogurt right there. So alright, so next I have already washed some fruit. So we got mixed berry yogurt. So, I got some strawberries, some blackberries, some blueberries. Now, mind you, we gardening, y'all. We growing our own food. So, this stuff should be easy for us to get as the growing season goes on, okay? So, keep in mind, you won't have to buy this out of the store if you're growing your own food. So, this should be, you know already there um for you to you know do so keep that in mind if you eat healthy um have no choice but to eat health or whatever the case may be like i've had no choice well i mean i eat things i have ate things that has made me sick that i knew i shouldn't have ate but i have been one that has always had to eat 
healthy so that's not a big change for me what's a change for me is these good fats and bad fats and all that stuff um because some bad fats i could take with just gird now i can't take none without this gobbler okay so gotta have all good fats and this now i always talk about a lifestyle change y'all this is <laughs> A lifestyle change but you know I'm thankful thankful I made it through it especially how everything went down I'm just thankful so this ain't nothing for me you know I like eating healthy anyway so I don't have to have the fried food I went so many years without it I ate fried food the other day for the first time in years y'all just sitting down having fried food I've been had to let like my neck bones and stuff go for over 10 years I've been had to let that go I think I had some recently like I tasted one out of the pot, but you know, I hadn't had that stuff in over 10 years straight. So it really don't bother me. So what you see me doing right here, let me tell you, I packed my berries and stuff because I don't want the excess water in my yogurt, okay? So patch after you don't wash your berries and stuff, pack them pretty much dry so you don't have all that excess um water from them making your water i mean your yogurt looser than what it needs to be so that's a little tip right there that i had to learn um make sure you pat it make sure everybody okay make sure you pat it um dry as possible okay we don't want no watered down yogurt <laughs> we don't want no watered down yogurt okay um so yeah make sure that you do that and it'll be fine okay hold on some of them is slipping it's yeah all right so like i said i've already washed these off and it's got see it's got water in the bottom so what i'm gonna do is put my berries and stuff right here and i'm gonna pat all this dry some of you want some more blueberries. Some of be eating blueberries, y'all. You ate the strawberry? Oh, she got that strawberry got to get cut up. She can't grip the strawberry like she want, but she shows her up these blueberries. Show that turn it up, y'all. Um, so, gonna pat these bad boys dry as I can, okay? It's blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Y'all love me some blackberries, y'all. Being back home, we was go just pick them off the daggone tree right there in our backyard. It was along our fence. Oh my goodness. Come in the house, mouth purple, blue, and strawberries. Couldn't lie and say you wasn't them. Because it was noticeable. <laughs> so you're going to pat as much of that water off as possible and add these blueberries i got more blueberries than anything so i'm gonna add them first and they bowls okay I'm gonna get this one a little bit more because like they had a little bit less. Like one less piece of strawberry, so add it out with the blueberries. Like that. Oh, I wasn't ready to put you on there. the blueberries together y'all now I'm gonna add these blackberries right there right there bam 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 oh I cannot wait to dig into this do you hear me I cannot wait I'll take that one since it had like less strawberries make sure the kids um 
stuff is equal. And I'm going to get myself, since I had less strawberries, I love blackberries, y'all. I'll get myself a little bit more blackberries. Uh, do that right there. Yeah, do that right there. All right. So now that that is added, I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. And then we're going to put the main event, the main thing that's going to bring this together. I'll put this down here. Simon, come get this uh, blueberry. Oh, she outside. I should get when she comes in. All right, y'all. So next, I am going to add. Okay, let me put this here because I know this one is mine. All right, so yes, 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 yes. And I'm gonna be making my own granola. Somebody had said it in the vlog where I picked this up. It was like I can make my own granola. I know how to make it. It's just that I have, I you know, I gotta get to to doing it. But yeah, this will be my first and my last time buying granola. I am gonna make my own granola. But this is apple raisin and walnut granola, okay? So, ooh, it smells so good. So, I'm going to add that right there. Right there. Look at that. Make sure they got raisins. Everybody got raisins. Ooh, it smells so good. Now, this right here, the granola is what really is fulfilling in these bowls. So, it'll stick to the tummy, okay? <laughs> Let's see. And there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, I can't wait to dig in, y'all. All right, y'all. So, let me show y'all. Get y'all one. This is how it looks. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. So I am going to give to the kids. Kylie. And I want them to tell y'all how it tastes. Okay. So I'm going to try mine. That's how mine is because I got a few more little blackberries on top. I love blackberries, y'all. All right, so let's see. Let me see my grades. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let me bring y'all up some. Bring y'all up some. If I can, the lighting in here, I'm gonna have to lighten this up. Uh. All right, so here we go. Let's see. I want to get some with the strawberries and the granola first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm mm, -mm. Y'all like it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They mouths over here. They eyes is like... Okay. Now here we go with the blackberries. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm. Now with the blueberries. Yeah, you won't normally eat it all together, but. And you couldn't tell she likes to dissect her food. Hmm? I said you like to dissect your food. Oh, me? I like to dissect my food. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Mm hmm So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that I upload a video. And 
I hope y'all enjoyed. Put it in the comments. Let me know what your favorite yogurt bowl. We're gonna stick to yogurt bowls. If you um like yogurt bowls, tell me what's your favorite. And then I will do a video and try it and let you know what I think. And if I add to it, I'll take away. So yeah, y'all be safe and I'll see you in the next one. If this guy's well. Bye.